United States will not let Ukraine fail. It was the first in-person meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group this year. And Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin made it clear that Ukraine was too important to let down. Today, Ukraine's survival is in danger. And America's security is at risk. And they don't have a, they don't have a day to waste. And we don't have a day to spare either. But analysts say Austin's audience was likely skeptical, since the U.S. Congress has yet to pass new aid for Ukraine. The money is out. Ukraine is still uh, trying to wrest Russian troops out of its eastern territory. And there seems to be on the ground a, a tactical stalemate. With the Pentagon out of money for Ukraine and no sign the Republican-led House will bring a funding bill to a vote, Senior defense officials say there just isn't a way that allies can combine forces to make up for a lack of U.S. support. Especially as Russia ramps up its attacks. It's not conventional warfare that beat back Russia's blitzkrieg. It was Ukrainian guerrilla warfare. Critics like Sean McFate, the author of The New Rules of War, say the international community is investing too much money on expensive military weapons that fall short in today's fight. Giving them more conventional war weapons is the strategic definition of insanity, expecting a different result by doing the same thing. So I think that it's time for Ukraine to stop thinking about a conventional war strategy, which they'll never win against Russia, and think about unconventional ways they can leverage their power. Western leaders, including Secretary Austin, have expressed concern that a failure to supply Ukraine will play into Russia's hands as it tries to outlast Western support to Ukraine. McFate says Ukrainians should use some conventional forces to hold the line, while its guerrilla forces fight to break down the Russian bear. Carla Bab, VOA News, Rammstein Air Base, Germany.